it's in the results, right? So if you're just looking at a follower count, you've already gone down the wrong path. And I think so much of the advertising world has been driven by what would be old metrics of, I need my reach, I need my GRPs, and missing a lot of the qualitative aspects that will now support success on the back end. So I think in, in looking at how the audience is engaged relative to the total follower count, that's the critical comparison that needs to be made. It truly depends on the sector that they're, they're advertising in and, and certainly what the goal of the campaign is because you have folks that will be purely focused on a cost per click, folks that will be focused on a cost per install, right? So you do have different measurements from that standpoint. But I think it, just initially looking at, I mentioned this on the panel, um, comments plus shares plus views and then dividing that by the total reach of that campaign is an excellent place to start because now you've got a full sort of engagement percentage of that campaign relative to viewing the content and then sharing the content specifically. It's based on whether the brand is approaching it and when I say it, influencer advertising as a strategy versus a tactic, right? A tactic is very short term and you're not looking at what potentially an own channel could deliver over a long-term strategy, right? So from that perspective, I think it, it does dictate what you do. But, um, you know, with that, uh, we also brought this up on the panel, is a marketer become a programmer, right? Are they really committed to programming? If they are, in that case, definitely create the own channel and publish direct on their channel versus publishing on an influencer's channel. Massive risks. We talked about on the panel, you've given up control to a large extent. You've gone into now a conversation on a social channel which can't easily be moderated, right? Anything flies. So we've seen some, some mishaps in terms of people focusing in on, for example, the hashtag. Um, in fact, uh, a big Republican pundit tried to launch a campaign that basically reimagined what a Republican looks like and it absolutely backfired on them. Created a whole hashtag associated with it, and then you had a lot of influencers that were jumping in and doing parodies and basically taking a piss out of, out of Republicans. Achieved the opposite of what they wanted to, to, to get. So I think that um, there all, are a lot of risks, and that's the challenge for brands right now. They're saying the risks are too high. We don't want to jump in the water until there have been some standards applied that reduce that risk.